What's up guys, welcome back to the circus. Today we're gonna to be going over an Albaz deck profile. This is a deck I got, I went 3-1 at our last locals, with it, I only lost one match and it was a super heavy samurai. Um, you guys will see that going up on the channel, I believe this week, maybe to possibly tomorrow actually. Um, but yeah, pretty much what happened in that game, you know, spoiler alert, I guess. I uh, didn't open any hand traps and then I locked him and then he locked me, so. It's how it goes. You know, we're having lots of fun in this format. I love this format a lot. And, well, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let's dive in. So to start off, we are on the two Albaz. Um, I was testing two. I actually really like three. I feel like a lot of, a little bit more of these games are, like, like a lot grindier. Um, against Purely, it's a little bit grindy. Unless they get to Noir, but, like, that's the case. So you just scoop at that point. Um, and then same with Sword Soul. Like, you're going to be trading hand traps back and forth. And sometimes you'll just normal Albaz, I feel the effect, it gets the like can traps and then that's going to be that. Or even just like returning your stuff. Just You just need three. You need the resource game when there's heavy hand trap format. Unless you just want to scoop all the time. And then for the friends, we are on the one Albion. I learned a cool interaction the other day that if this card's in the graveyard, you can actually send the card for cost, like send Branded and White. And then because this is Albaz in the grave during the end phase, you can add back or you can set the Branded and White. So kind of cool. The Tuma Courier, I'm a huge fan of Tuma Courier. I think this card will always be a two of, unless we get some other thing like that. Uh, I like searching it with Lost, and I like using it as an extender as well. Plus, with Quam now, you can reborn it off the field, or in the graveyard, you can reborn it, and it's also going to get on the field as well. It's sort of important to people, for real, important for people to know that. And then we are on the two Blazing Cartesias. People say play one of this, play two of this. It's, you know, it's an often debate. I like two right now, but I can 100% see one of it. Same with the Courier. And then we are on the one Quem. Sorry for the glare. That's it for the Albaz and Friends. You know, next up we have our Aluber or our Despias. We're going to play three Alubers. This is also a Despia, important to note. You always play three. We are on the one Ad Libitum as well as the one Tragedy. That's it for the, like, Albaz-related stuff-ish, if we're not counting the Bestial package. Which is very small for now, unless we get a ban list, which I can see happening. And then Bestials might be popping back up if Dragon Leap can be the best deck. We are on the one Lubellion, one Sword in here. Very, uh, very standard. Then for Hand Traps, we don't have lots of room in this deck, so we are playing the three Ash Blossom and the three Droll and, Lockbird. Droll and Lockbirds. Getting straight to the point. This is for the mirror match. It's also good against Purely. It just stops. It's a one-for-one one trade, and this is just against Super Perfect Samurai and pretty much any other um, decks like Purely as well as uh, Tashtira and yeah. Um, I find that Ash Blossom comes up a lot. Like people are like, oh yeah, Ash is not a high impact. If you know what to hit in Super Heavy Samurai, obviously if they don't have Baron on the field, um, it's good to know. Sometimes they have it anyways. Um, but just Ash is just generically fair. If I am playing, I'd probably side it out against them because it is low impact. But it does sometimes prevent you from getting OTK'd or FTK'd in the case of Cyberstein. <laughs> Big shout outs to JC for that one. I wish you could side in other stuff. I was thinking of taming the Ashes for Ogres, but Ogre is also very bad in a lot of decks. So now for the spells, we're on the three Brand Infusion, best card in the deck. Three branded opening. This card's even better now. I cannot consider cutting this at all because we have the Quem, the special limit out, and Quem is insane. And then we are on the one, one, and one. Anyone not playing Brandon White right now, I don't know what to tell you. Like, this is just another fusion card. This brings out Chimera. This brings out um, your whatever his name is, your Sanctifier. This can bring out uh, Granganol as well. Like, it's just, it's a crazy card. And then Lost is please give us a super Lost in OTS. Then for the other spells, we are on the three Nadir. Um, but people say the Notion G is completely correct. Like this just sends up being able to send an Albion if your all your stuff got stopped, or even a uh, Dragonall. Um, just just so much adding the uh, like the fact that Quem is a Dogmatica, adding Quem or not Clarkesia, adding Quem is so huge as well as like even adding an Albaz for follow-up next turn or for sending stuff off of like himself or being able to simply just fuse is crazy you can also add back the albion in the graveyard if you sent it already which i think 
came up in one of my duels to get me another draw. Um, then we have the, the three fusion deployments. Summons out Cartesia. What else can I say? And then the one of Gold Sark, Foolish Burial, Call by the Grave, and then the one Retribution to line it up. Retribution is still crazy. I can't believe there was a time where we didn't play the Scared. That runs off an even 40 there. And now for the extra deck. I'd like to mention that if you guys are enjoying this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. If we get this video to 50 likes, I'll be doing a combo video as well as test hands on the deck. So watch out for that if you guys want to see it. We are on the two Mirror Jades. You always got to play it. Self-explanatory. Then we are on the two Lubellions. So Cash right now is in the format. If Cash disappears, I could see this going away. I think if you're playing Dragoon, you have to play two Lubellion. Um, but otherwise, I really like the grind game with this. And being able to put back my Albasses is kind of crazy. I can understand why people don't want to play it, but I'll be showing you guys in a second why as well I play it. We are on the two Albion as well. No explanation needed to that. This card's crazy. And then we are on the one Albion Sanct Fire Dragon. The one Brigand. This card can 100% be replaced by Titanoclad or Albalentis. It's simply in here because I'm, I like searching for Brigands, and um, I haven't really tested this out. I guess this card is very good because it can also summon Quem, which is pretty crazy. Uh, and then we are on the one Rinbrum, and this is the part where it kind of changes up. We are actually on the two copies of Garanganol the Dust Dragon. So my theory with this is this card is like absolutely insane. Um, a lot of the times I'll find myself banishing off Brandon Red or summoning it out and then being able to send like an Albion and like still being able to make something with it or like because we are playing two targets so we can make the synchro or we can summon out the synchro i should say and it's a very good card or we can summon out the quartus which is a good card in like the mid game um it's just great as well as like blue Bellion being able to shuffle it back from being banished to make like a mirror jade is also very nice um, i really like this card to be honest my probably my favorite card in the deck also the art is sick And then for the rest of the fusions, we are on the one Masquerade. Um, this burns for time. Great against Punk. Uh, well, not really. Great against Punk if you have other stuff as well. Not great. Also good against Purely and just, uh, you know, time cards. We are on the one Chimera. This is a fusion deck. You play Chimera. But we are on the two targets of the Quirtus as well as Despian Lulu. This card is insane. Also crazy art, I'd like to mention. Um... That's it for the extra deck. Pretty standard. I think like uh, Lubellion is probably the weirdest part. If Cash does get hit, I would be changing up the side extra deck. Now onto the side deck. This is also related to our locals or our competitive scene. This is not what you have to exactly follow. Rainbow Magician, you dump this to make Albion and then you just end phase Albion set. Crazy combo. I don't think that you should play, play this in the main. The reason why I don't think you should play it in the main is because, at least at a local level, um, half your games you're not going to be going first. So it's not the greatest going second. It's considered like a soft brick. Uh, just don't really feel like it's necessary in the main. If I was going to a, like, an event that had like nine rounds, I'd probably consider putting it in the main because you know, a lot, you'll know a lot you be seeing it a lot more, and if you do get it off, then you're just winning the game anyways. Going on the Explosion because, you know, Nightmare. And being able to double Expulsion with the Sanctifiers is also insane. Guarantees you the win. Testing out the Brightest Blazing Branded King. Um, this has stopped evenly for me once. It's like you're going first. Also crazy against Super Heavy Samurai because they'll set their scales and then they'll like summon out the uh, the Soul Pierce Maker. They'll link it away. And then if you just flip it, it just negates like both their scales as well as the effect or the effect on field of Soul... Uh, of whatever his name is it's pretty nice um then we are also on the three evenly matched probably the best going second card in this format still we are on the there could only be one disgusting um this is essentially my third copy of there can only be one i'm pretty happy with drawing either of those i did cut the third for this um but this card's absolutely disgusting it won me a match versus purely with time because i sat on the uh 
we were like in a really bad stall game um and i ended up going into masquerade and there can only be one and like they have such a hard time getting out of this and then i am playing the duster because we are respecting the labyrinth decks and other trap decks then we are on the two cosmic cyclones i don't like runic so goodbye runic and then for the last cards, we are on the three kaijus. You don't play Santa Claus. I don't care what anybody says about Santa Claus. You do not play it in this deck. You uh, you give them a Santa Claus and they have a huge booty on it. And a lot of your monsters can't actually out the Santa Claus because he can't have an attack position. While most of your monsters can't out this kaiju. So I don't, I don't really want to tell you. As well as like, it's a light target. Santa Claus is a light target, but doesn't really make any difference in you. You're never going to send Santa Claus off of Branded Fusion, so you don't need to worry about that at all. Um, if you're playing Branded, please, please stop playing Santa Claus and play um, Gamma Seal. Like, you don't have any XYZ to bump into it to make Zeus. Like, there's zero reason to play Santa Claus in it. Yeah, I guess you could also, like, say Lubelion-ish kind of makes a difference. It's just not needed. Um... I just don't think it's really worth playing over Kaiju, like over Gamma Seal, to be honest, in my personal opinion. I feel like it's completely incorrect to play it. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And once again, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. If this video gets to 50 likes, we shall be doing a combo video on it, as well as the test hands. If you guys want to see anything else, let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to stay safe. Peace.